Okay guys, today what we're going to be making is some red beans and rice. Here I have a bag of red kidney beans. And what we're going to do first is we're going to separate the rotten beans from the good beans. Alright. Let's see if we have any bad beans in this bag. sure we'll find a few. I'm going to show you guys how a bad bean look. Okay, so something like this. You see something like this that's cracked? You don't want to cook that. You want to remove that. Okay, so we're going to remove that. And I'm going to continue removing the bad beans. And when I'm done, I'm going to sit them in a bowl of water and allow them to soak for about four hours. Okay? Okay, guys. So I removed all the bad beans. I'm going to place things in that bowl here. I'm going to add some cool water. We're going to let these beans soak for a few hours. If you have time, allow them to soak overnight. But a few hours should do. Okay? So just let them bad boys soak. Okay, guys. So here's what we're going to be seasoning our red beans and rice with. Here I have my homemade Creole season. I'll post the recipe for my homemade Creole season in a few minutes. We have two bouillon cubes. We have a tablespoon of parsley flakes, a teaspoon of Cajun season, a teaspoon of black pepper, and there we have two bay leaves. All right. I do have salt in my Creole season. Okay. But I like to add bouillon cubes just to make sure that there's enough taste in the beans. Okay, you don't want them to be under seasoned. So just to make sure that they're well seasoned, I add two bouillon cubes. Okay guys, so here are the vegetables that we're going to be adding to the red beans. I have two stalks of celery here, some green onions or scallions, whatever you want to call them. A green pepper, one onion, and minced garlic. I really just don't like chopping up garlic cloves and peeling them. Just too much work. So that's the reason why I usually use minced garlic, okay? Um, you want to mince the garlic cloves up anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but I like to use minced garlic or garlic that's already minced and chopped. Um, like I said, you can use some celery. Um chop up a few green onions aka scallions and um an onion and green pepper okay so dice them up to really really small pieces all of that okay guys i want you to get some chicken broth if you don't have chicken broth you can just use water but chicken broth is going to give it more flavor so make sure you have some chicken broth okay we're not going to use all this butter, but make sure you have some butter. Um, I like to saute and brown my sausage and my vegetables in butter. You don't have butter, you can just use regular uh, vegetable oil, but I like to fry them and brown my vegetables in butter. And I like to add butter to my beans because I think that the butter just gives it more flavor and it helps to thicken the gravy that the beans produce once the broth simmers down it helps produce ni a nice thick gravy and it just gives it a really really good taste i noticed that there's a much better flavor that the red beans have when browning the vegetables and the sausages with butter versus 
using oil or you just don't have no taste or flavor okay guys so as you know you have to cook the red beans with meat and I'm just going to be using a regular uh, smoked sausage mine's is a mild smoked sausage and people usually do like their red beans to have a little spicy taste to it okay I am adding as you guys know already the Cajun season to the beans but uh, these are not hot these are mild smoked sausage so make sure you go out and get smoked sausage all right um, also some people use pickled pork meat but I don't have none today that's what my grandmother and family usually use what I'm going to use today is just a smoked ham hock there go your pork right there okay and that's going to give the beans additional flavor as well okay so make sure you have some smoked sausage and uh, pickled pork meat or ham hock you can't find the pickled pork meat which can be hard to find in your local grocery store at times just use a regular uh, smoked ham hock okay okay guys so we're gonna chop up our vegetables here we have our celery cut them down that way in the middle cut them down the middle like this then I'm going to chop it like that it's really small pieces so that's the way you're going to chop up your celery Okay, so there go our celery here's our scallions or green onions we're gonna slice them up into small pieces as well I'm gonna save some of this to top my uh, red beans and rice with Chop it up nice like that, nice and small. We're going to chop this onion up now. Okay, so we're going to chop the onions up this way. Now we're going to chop the green pepper. Chop the green peppers like that. Okay, so there's our chopped up vegetables, have our onions, our scallions, our celery, and our green peppers. And I only use about two sausages. Not gonna add a lot of meat to this. Okay. Cut them into sizes about that big there. If you like a lot of meat in your red beans and rice, you can add a lot of meat, but I only use about two sausages. I don't like a lot of meat in them. Not really much of a meat eater anyway. Okay, so those are your sausages, smoked sausages. Okay. We're gonna place this pan over medium heat okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add the 
sausage that we chopped up into vegetables now. These gonna be the best. I said the best red beans and rice that you ever tasted in your life. Don't nobody make red beans and rice like Philly Boy J. Nobody. Mine just have too much flavor and taste. We're gonna also go ahead and add the minced garlic. If you decided to chop up garlic cloves, you can add that, but I decided to use minced garlic. Okay. I'm gonna let this brown and fry for about 10 minutes. And then once all this get done browning, we we'll add the beans and the other ingredients. Okay guys, so here are our beans that's been soaking. Okay. We're going to drain that water and get them another rinse. Okay, so there go our beans. What we're going to do is we're going to dump that into the pot along with the vegetables and the sausage. We're also, as I said earlier, gonna be using this smoke hocks, smoke ham hocks. Gonna rinse that off a bit. Okay guys, so these have browned a bit, my sausage and vegetables. Okay. And it's on medium high heat. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the chicken broth. going to add the ham hot and the beans the red kidney beans okay And that's all the season that we talked about earlier. We got the two bouillon cubes. Okay, and our two bay leaves. All right. This is going to be delicious. So make sure your heat is on medium. I am going to add some water to this. And we're just going to let that simmer 
for approximately two hours or until the beans are as soft as you like them okay some people like their beans to be solid but tender some people like their beans to be mushy okay kind of like Popeye's beans and rice where the beans are kind of mushy and soft and it forms a gravy that's the way I like mine. I like mine to form like a thick gravy. So I'm going to let mine go for approximately two to two and a half hours. Also, what you might want to do is you might want to stir it every 20 minutes or so. And I'm going to add some additional butter towards the end as well. But this is going to be absolutely delicious when it simmers down. And once it simmer down, what I'm probably going to do is add just a little more season if I feel it needs more. But that should make it salty enough. You don't want it to be too salty. Um, you have the ham hocks that's going to give it some salt and some taste. It's going to give the beans a really, really, really delicious taste. Um, along with the chicken broth and the sausage, the smoked sausage. Ah! Just the best. It's going to give this a uh, wonderful flavor. Okay. So make sure you try this recipe out. Um, I'm going to show you guys how it look when it's done. Also, what you want to do is you want to boil you some rice. Okay. I'm going to be using some cheap minute rice today. <laughs> but you can boil you some Goya uh, or jasmine rice. And um, yeah, you want to pour this over your your rice and this is when it simmers down it's going to create a nice thick gravy all right okay it's cooled off a bit so now we're about to plate it Just nice and thick the way I like it I'm going to plate that with the rice. Okay guys, and there you have it, red kidney beans and rice. The gravy is nice and thick. Here are some scallions on top, top it with. Absolutely delicious. Mm, 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 mm.